in this video we will try to complete practical number 3c which asks us to demonstrate the use of tree view control and perform the various operations in the various operations they actually ask you to go for tree view control and data list there are two different control tree view and data list we will try to understand those together and few tree view operations that which node has been selected that need to be displayed such kind of operation we will try to complete in this particular practical so i'm using the same practical project folder named practical number 3c uh, in the same project i am creating the new web form so here a new web form get added a web form 1.aspx and in this web form i am interested in adding a control named as a tree view so let's try to find where is the control named as a tree view fine so tree view p q r s t t t t t t let's try to find to find where is the tree view control pranali 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 dikh raha hai ka tujhe ha niche niche milega menus hai ha this is what your tree view control actually this control has been seen by us in the practical number 6 or 7 also so i just drag down this particular tree view control inside my form a tree view control consists of various nodes and i am able to go for editing the nodes and adding my own nodes into it i can format it review so it should look better fine i am good with the uh, windows pattern ka tree view so i taken this tree view specific look and feel further i would like to add up some nodes so i am giving a click on you can give a click on show lines so you can see the lines also okay so i would like to edit the nodes so i go for editing the nodes a parent node i am interested in providing text as uh, asp.net practicals um, if you want a image to be displayed over there then you can specify the image you are i want under the asp.net practical the child practical nodes need to be added so this is for a parent I can give a click on this. I can provide text at Java practicals, right? Under the ASP dot net, I need to add a child node. So I'd given a click on this, add a child node, and provide a text over here at practical three C. And when the user gives a click on a practical three C, it should link to the other web form created inside the same project folder. So I'm selecting here navigate URL. and here i just mentioned web form 2 should be displayed fine so you can go on adding the now if you give a click on this you know that it will be created the child of practical 3c you don't want the element then you can delete the element if suppose you want the new node should be under asp.net practical then you can just use shift left or you can use shift right so you can understand now the parent is been changed if you want to switch the sequence you can use shift up or a shift down or a delete and this way you can go on specifying the specific node and you can give a image url navigate url and so on now what i am expecting whenever the user clicks on a particular element of a tree node um, then which element has been selected that must be displayed on the label so that is one operation i am interested in showing you so i just add up one label and here i am interested in first of all checking whether my post back is there or not yes it is been considered to be a post back so i double click on this control so it will be preview one selected node change so when the node is been changed whatever the selected node is there that text must be displayed so here i am just writing label one dot text equal to tree view 1 dot selected node dot text so whatever the node which has been selected the text of that node will be displayed so let's see really it works in the appropriate way or not so i run this particular page when i am selecting a specific node then whatever the node which has been selected the selected node text is been displayed on the label just wait a minute it will get loaded it takes at first time time because recently the machine is been started fine so it shows me asp.net practicals 
Here it shows me practical number O. Oh, it shows, but what happens? It is getting redirected towards the other web form, right? You can select Java practical. The Java practicals is what being shown. Correct? So this is a simple way with the help of which it is possible for you to go for utilizing the tree. One more control need to be tried in this particular uh, practical that is termed as your data list. Right? This is the same thing which has been told over here that we need to demonstrate the data list. So where is the control which is named as would your data list? So I just go on searching the control as would a data list and under the data I found a control named as data list. So this is what my data list control. Now data list control need to retrieve the contain from some or the other data source. Now the data source can be a backend like a SQL server or Oracle or that data source can be a XML file also. Now currently from this practical perspective, we would like to retrieve the data from the XML file. So what I need to do it, I need to create an XML file. So I give a right click on this, I selected add and here I'm selecting new item where I'm interested in creating an XML file. So written over here XML. So a new XML file got created by us. Need to add the students information. So the main tag I'm providing it as students. And under the student I am providing a tag called a student. So fine, I, I just provide over here student ID he is going to be one. Student name he is going to be ABC. The student age is will be maybe 20. I just remove this extra blank spaces. And I would like to add up some two or three student information. So three times the same student information get added. But SID is being changed and the S name is also being changed, right? So BBC and XYZ. I keep the age as C. So now XML file consists of this data and this XML file data need to be retrieved and displayed on this data list. How can it be done? It's quite easy. Give a click on this and select the option as choose the data source. And here I'm choosing the new data source where the data should be retrieved from the XML file. So selecting over the XML file. So it will be creating XML data source one. Provide a data file, which is the file created by you. I think so XML file two is been created by us, right? So this is what a data file is. Given a click on OK. And you can find the data is being retrieved inside the data list. So this is the only thing which need to be demonstrated by you in this particular practical that create the tree view along with some tree nodes, show some operations like the one which has been shown by us and under the data list, retrieve the data from the XML file and display that XML file data inside your data list. So thanks a lot student, be tuned with us and please subscribe the channel.